good and welcome to my scroll saw workshop. I want to go through a demonstration tonight of how to use my uh, jigsaw puzzle template book uh, that I have for sale on my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Uh, the template book is seven dollars and uh, I want to take you through and show you what you can do with it tonight. Uh, basically we're going to take uh, a wedding picture, uh, four by six, uh, just snapshot and turn it into a family heirloom. Okay, I'm going to give you a little closer look at this project. Here's the finished jigsaw puzzle. This is what we'll be building tonight. And again, this is the 4x6 template. And pretty easy to cut. And uh, I'll take you over to the scroll saw here in just a few minutes and uh, show you how to make this puzzle. Here's what you're going to need to uh, build these puzzles. You're going to need the booklet off of my website at www scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com uh, The booklet comes with uh, four different size templates. You've got the 4x6, 5x7, 8x10, and uh, also the 5x5 five five, uh, just because several people have requested a square type puzzle. And for each of those templates you have different size puzzle pieces all the way up to the largest being the 8x10 with 320 pieces. So you're going to download the booklet, and that booklet's uh, available on my site for $7. You're going to find a picture that you want to make the puzzle out of. In this case, I've got a 4x6 wedding picture. You're going to need a couple pieces of Baltic birch ply cut to the size of the puzzle. You're going to need a 1 quarter inch and a 1 eighth inch piece. The quarter inch will, is what we will make the puzzle out of, and the eighth inch is what we'll apply the template to and uh, put it on top of the puzzle as we're cutting. You're also going to need some fine scroll saw blades. And in this case I'm using a Flying Dutchman Superior uh, puzzle uh, blades and I think you'll find those are real real nice. You can also use some of the jeweler's blades if you can find them but they're hard to find. The finer the blade you use uh, the better the pieces are going to cut uh, fit together when you cut the puzzle. You're also going to need some spray adhesive that you'll use to apply the picture to the Baltic Burst ply and also the template to the ply. And you're going to need some box tape, box tape to hold everything together. I've got my Baltic Burst block ply, my photograph, my template, and the 1 8 inch ply laid out here. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and apply the photograph to the 1 quarter inch piece of ply. Now you want this to be a permanent bond, uh, so the recommendation on the spray adhesive is to spray both pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and take the photograph. Now generally what I'll do is, uh, because I keep this uh, glue up board here kind of dirty all the time, I'll take the photograph and just lay it on a couple of blocks as I spray it. And then I'm also going to take and spray the uh, plywood also. So shake up your glue real well. And give it a pretty good coat because you want this to be a good permanent bond. And now, without letting it sit too long, go ahead and take your photograph and apply it to the piece of Baltic Burbs. You do want to make sure that the back of the photograph is clean and uh, not, no uh, sawdust on it, and the same with the board. Now, if the picture is a little larger, and depending on where you get them printed, they might be, then you may have to trim this down a little bit. So you can see it's a little larger than the ply, and I'll just take my X-Acto knife and trim that down to the exact size. So get a good bond there. Press it down, make sure it's seated real good. Now we can do, with the template, we're going to apply it to the 1 8 one eighth inch piece of Baltic birch. And you want to line this up pretty good also. Again, make sure the board's free of sawdust. Go ahead and get it lined up pretty well and get a, get a pretty good bond there. Now once we take this over and uh, trim the back of the, or the picture off a little bit, we'll apply this template over the picture, we'll tape it up, and then we'll begin cutting on it. I'm over here at the scroll saw now and I'm ready to begin cutting. And uh, just going to back up and tell you again one more time what I've done. I've applied the, the uh, puzzle template, in this case the 4 by 6 inch template, to the 1 8 inch piece of Baltic birch ply. I've applied the photograph that we're going to make the puzzle out of to a one quarter inch piece of Baltic birch ply and I've sandwiched them together with the template on top. 
and covered it completely in box tape to hold it together as we cut. I've gone ahead and inserted a number two, or in this case it's, a, it's the uh, Flying Dutchman uh, Superior uh, Puzzle Blade into the saw and I'm just going to begin to cut. <clears throat> you may want to slow your speed down a little bit on your saw. These are pretty fine blades and you know they do take a little more care than a normal blade. So just pick a corner that you want to start in and just follow the lines. take a break here and uh, give you a couple tips. Uh, the first tip is when you're cutting out jigsaw puzzles it's really important that your blade be square to the table. Uh, so you do want to you know get your uh, right angle out and make sure you're good and square to the table otherwise when you go to uh, pull the pieces in and out they'll pull out one way but they won't go in the other or pull out the other direction. Uh, so make sure your blade's nice and square. The other tip I can give you is especially on the larger puzzles with more pieces um, unless, unless you want to challenge when you get done, you may want to go ahead and put the pieces back together um, as you finish cutting them. So as I cut a piece out, I go ahead and take the template off the top, put it over on my workbench and put it back together. Okay, I've got the uh, puzzle all cut out now and I've got the template pieces all removed. Made sure I got all the tape off of the back of the puzzle on the few pieces that there were. And uh, as you can see, I go ahead and put it back together as I'm cutting it. Now, when you get done, you're going to sometimes have a little bit of fuzzies on the back of these and you want to clean that up. And the way I do it is pretty simple. I just take the pieces individually, get myself a little piece of sandpaper, and I'll just slightly sand them like this. And uh, then I'll take a look, and if I've got any more, sometimes I'll do a little more finished sanding. Uh, but once I get that done, then I go ahead and uh, assemble all the pieces. And there's your heirloom puzzle all ready to be put in the box. And uh, these make uh, absolutely great uh, keepsakes for weddings or anniversaries, birthdays. Uh, just about anything that you can get a picture of, uh, you can make a puzzle out of it. Now again, I have the 4x6, uh, uh, the 5x7, 8x10, and then also a square 5x5. Five five. Uh, each one of those comes with uh, two different size puzzle pieces. This is a large uh, uh, piece uh, puzzle for the 4x6, and uh, there's a smaller one also. So I hope you enjoy this project, and uh, uh, you can visit my website at www www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com uh, where you can buy this template book for uh, $7. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you the next time here at the Scroll Saw Workshop.